I know I'm a little bit late for a what sold video, um, but it, I'm having a lot of tr trouble trying to to finish up because each time I start to record, I sell something else. So I'm going to stop it. This is going to be the what sold video from September 7th through September 17th, which I think was yesterday or the day before. Um, and I usually I've been trying to record it as a pull it to pack it, but I always forget sometimes because I'm in a rush to pack it. So I do have some clips. But I'll also just tell you right here what's old. Uh, before I start, though, I want to do a shout out to one. I think his name is One Day at a Time. He's a, uh, a YouTube uh, reseller as well, and he does this cool. Um, I hate it when Wednesdays. And if you if you can find you know what, I'll put the link down below for this video for him because it's a fun little channel. Um, and it's I feel like he's local, like to the Inland Empire of Southern California. Not sure about that. Um, I'm a little bit east to him, but I'm originally from that area. In fact, I'm going there today to visit me mom. This cat. <laughs> There's nothing there, dude. I sold. The Queerest Folk Complete Series. I have about $18 into it. And I sold it for $90, free shipping. I sold an HP ink cartridge. You may have seen me pick that up at that church sale. Um, sold it for, I've got a cheat sheet, sorry. Uh, $13 with free shipping. I had $6 into that. Honestly, if I maybe made a buck, maybe two if I'm lucky, that wasn't the greatest pickup. I sold this Oinko, Oinkyo? <laughs> um, CD, six CD carousel player that I picked up. Um, I got about $18 into this one too, and I sold it for $79.95. I sold a Callaway driver um, head cover uh, it's for golfers. Um, I have about $4 into that, and I sold that for $16 free shipping. I sold a pattern that I literally have 10 cents invested in for a little over $5 plus shipping. I had two left of the Navage salt pods that I picked up on, uh, on clearance at Walmart for $5 each. Um, one of them I sold for $22 free shipping and the other one I sold for $20 free shipping. This guy makes me laugh so much. <laughs> I picked this up in retail arbitrage, I think at Ross. Um, um, I have six or seven dollars into it, I can't remember. And I literally just listed it tonight, and like less than two hours later, I sold it. Uh, I was asking fifteen dollars, but I took a I, I always accept offers if they're reasonable. And, um, anyways, took an offer of twelve fifty. They haven't paid yet, so we'll see if they pay. <laughs> two hours later. Sorry, bad impression. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the last sale. Um, the SpongeBob one? I actually lost money in this. Because I just wasn't paying attention. So no matter how much you get in a, um, a rhythm with listing... Um, here, let me put this down. Hold on. Watch what you're doing. I think the listing before I had ticked um, the box for free shipping. And this was a little bit over a pound and I knew it and I had free shipping. And I listed it for $15. And I took an offer of like $12.50. And basically shipping was almost $12. <laughs> so after eBay takes your fees and then cost of goods, I actually lost probably about 6 to $10 on this one. Oops. So just make sure when you're doing your listings, to pay attention to shipping, if you if you sometimes give, give free shipping, make sure that box is not ticked on your next auction because you might end up losing money. Oops. You like how I'm recording this in my car? <laughs> I'm waiting in line for something. Might as well, right? Um, I also sold the Golden Wheels U.S. Post Office delivery truck. Kind of like an old-fashioned design. I'll put it right up here. Um, sort actually I sourced it from my mom, so she sometimes will sell, uh, give me stuff to sell. Um, and sold it for fifteen dollars and fifty cents free shipping. If it's a high dollar item, she usually we usually cut it half and half. If it's small like that, she goes, "I'll oh, just keep it." <laughs> <laughs> pip pip. Nah. So you may those of you who have been watching my videos. This was a yard sale find, a grass sale find uh, a few weeks ago. Listed it. Literally just sold it tonight on eBay for about $104 plus shipping. Wow. 
So, might have a delay on getting out of what's sold video because I want to get this packed up and out the door. <laughs> oh well, it's just getting longer. That's fine. This has been a great week. I also sold a Glory. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Uh, driver head cover, another golf one. Um, I picked it up with the other one. They were $4 each at like a local thrift store. Uh, I sold that one for $11 plus shipping. And I sold an Uncanny X-Men. Um, number 205, I honestly don't know how much I have into that because I bought that when it came out new and it's basically whatever is on the, uh, the price here is the cover. That's what I paid for it. It's just been too long because I don't remember. But I sold that $13 plus shipping. And Poshmark, I sold a, a pair of shoes that I've had up for a long time. Um, I forgot for how much, but I know I netted about $27 on that. Not too shabby. Okay, so if you're interested, let me give you totals. So I grossed in this time period on eBay from what you just saw, grossed about a little bit over four hundred dollars in ten days. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Um, now, of course, I have some free mailing thrown in there, and you've got your eBay fees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so when you take away all that stuff, I made about three hundred and seventeen dollars net, plus the twenty-seven from Poshmark. So. I made between September 7th to the 17th, made net $344. Now that's before taxes, you have to take about 25% off for that, but that's awesome. So I didn't think I had a good 10 days, but it, when you look at the totals, it was pretty good. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you like what you see, please hit like. It helps the channel grow. I need to grow it a little bit. Um, feel free to share with your friends as well. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I like, I don't do this to, to brag or anything. I do this and I show the item specifically because you know what to look out for, what's hot at least at this time of this month or this year. <laughs> if you're interested in getting into this yourself, this is how you learn is by watching other resellers. And um, I want to do that because I watch a ton of other resellers and I learn a lot from them. So um, subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Stay safe.